Hey Wildcats! Hope you're getting into a spooky mood. This week, the club of the week is Tug, Teens Uplifting God. This club is hosted by Mr. Stalker. They have a meeting every Monday at lunch in room 115. They have Bible teachings, discussions, fun group activities, they listen to worship music, they pray, they also volunteer and fundraise for those in need. Here's Mr. Stalker talking about Tug. Uh, Tug is a place where we just come together and hang out in here and have conversations about like really big topics like what is the meaning of life what's our what's our purpose here um, we talk about different religious world viewpoints and just get to build relationships and kind of create a safe place to to hang out and share those big questions and um, people's viewpoints on those and then sometimes if the group is like super musically inclined we have jam sessions in here um, if the group is predominantly uh, Christian, then we'll do Bible studies in here. We'll have kids share testimonies and, and all sorts of really cool things. I think at this age, people are searching quite a bit for answers to those big questions. And I think this is a really good place for kids to come and have those safe conversations and explore something that isn't really taught in the classroom. So they get an opportunity to hear those things here among their peers and um, do that in a really cool, neat, safe way. About 13 years ago, I had a student approach me. I actually just felt, felt it on my heart that I, I really wanted to start a club like this. And then I had a kid come to me first week of school, say, hey, I want to start this club. Will you sponsor it? And then um, 13 years later, it's still going strong. So just love it. And it's my favorite thing to talk about for sure. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, that's all that was perfect. Awesome. Wow, that sounds fun. I would join. Well you still can. Did you know that we have school sponsors? No, who are they? Well, I'm not really sure, but here's a video that our team worked on to talk about it. Sponsors provide us with a lot of things that we can't fund ourselves. Uh, they feed teachers, they feed students, they help us purchase electronic equipment. Uh, really, we rely on them to supplement our budget that is given to us by the district. Uh, students get a lot of benefits from supporting our sponsors. Most of our sponsors are corporate food sponsors uh, like Qdoba, Einstein's, and Jimmy John's. Um, I know Qdoba and Einstein's, they have a student special that they've created just for our students, and that's based on our relationship with them. Uh, so students get a lot of discounts, but then also we utilize sponsors to purchase TV monitors for us, uh, to beautify the campus for us. So, you know, students reap the benefits of that as well. Yeah, our main sponsors are Jimmy John's, Einstein's, Qdoba. We work with Domino's. They give us pizza at a discounted rate. Um, we also work with some smaller private enterprises um, that help us with SAT and ACT testing, and they work with Crumble Cookie. Um, right now, I'm working on a sponsorship with Maverick uh, because I know how much money students spend there. Um, and we're also trying to work with Hot Tomato and Copper Club for our teachers for sponsorships there. Today is the last day of free application week. What's that? Free application day is where you can apply to as many Colorado colleges and universities as you want. And it's free? Yes, but today is the last day you can apply. So send those applications in. Here is Raina Jackson with the sports. Hi, my name is Jessica Steele. And I'm Raina Roberts. For sports highlight of the week, this week we highlighted Mackenzie Black. Here's an interview we did with her. I'm Mackenzie Black and I'm a senior on the Fruit of Monument cross country team. My favorite memory from this season is the Liberty Bell Invitational that we had at Heritage High School in Denver. I think that what drives people to run cross country is to get better and better times each week and to get um, good times that help their team place better because when you run faster times, it helps your team place better against other schools. The best time I've ever gotten on a race is 1855. My end goal for this season is to get another PR at regionals and then hopefully to run at UCCS. Now, back to the news. Football plays Thursday, October 12 at 6.30 p.m. in Aurora and Friday, October 20th versus Bloomfield at 10th 
at Soku Stadium on the 7th. Tennis plays in the state championship Thursday, October 12th through the 14th. Top 20s had a meet in Montos. It's Saturday, October 14th at 11 a.m. And Thursday, October at 4 15 at Soku Stadium. Apple hosts the regional tournament Saturday, October 15th, and then on the state in Denver. A soccer boy play in Durango Saturday, October 14 at 10 a.m. A.M. and Thursday, October 19th at CMU for his friend Justin High School. And Wednesday, October 25th, in Renato's Tournament. Volleyball has a doubleheader at Roosevelt High School Saturday, October 14th, playing Roosevelt at 9 a.m. in Greeley West at 10.30. The Wildcats! The weather next week is going to be in the 50s and 60s, so dress warm. If your classes are feeling a little empty, here's some good news. Within the next couple of years, we will have some new friends. Here's half install and Ira with that news. Either next year or the year after, the idea is to bring the ninth graders uh, over here to the high school. So the committee is going to be looking at various ways to accommodate a whole bunch of new students. Um, we're not sure how many new students uh, or how many new uh, spaces we would need or how many new staff members we would need. Uh, there's a lot of we're not sure uh, in, in terms of numbers, right? How many would we need to, uh, to accommodate however many people would be coming over? The transition team is basically comprised of teachers that volunteered to be on it. I actually graduated from here, so I was here when it a lot of the parts of the building weren't here, so it was very crowded. And we just wanna make sure that we're thinking of things before the transition happens and um, trying to help with that transition being seamless instead of having um, possible issues that could come up. We can really think about those beforehand. So, and just making sure that our focus is still on all the students and that's what we want to do. So um, we'll work on all of the possible issues or concerns or anything that any of us think could come up. And so um, trying to solve those before they happen. Well, that's all the spooky news we have for you this week, Wildcats. Have a good week.